Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at the Pathmaker, designed by Havoc, and it's basically a bridge-laying tank. It's based on the same chassis as the tanks that he's designed in the past. It's very functional, it's got the connector at the back so we can quickly connect it up, as well as various remote control features. Now, what you would really want this sort of thing for, to do is, say for instance you were doing a rover caravan sort of expedition, you didn't have any ships in your fleet, and you decided that you wanted to venture out and maybe one of the vehicles that you'd have is a bridge lane vehicle so you could get across gaps or craters or just difficult terrain so you could use it in either of these situations like this this if you sort of gap where if you fall down into it you won't be getting your tank out to the side or maybe there's a very steep sort of gradient and you can put the bridge up the side to make that gradient a little bit easier so first off, let's actually pop ourselves in and test out the off-road capability. And since it's got all the wheels laid out like that, I'm expecting that we'll get quite a good amount of grip. So let's actually try and not go for the super steep part of this mountain that I've actually bammed it into. There we go. Get a little bit of grip as we start to climb over that terrain. Maybe we've not got enough friction. All the vehicles are a little bit too heavy. So I'm trying not to turn on it or roll it over. So there we go. We're managing to do a little bit of off-roading at the same time with our bridge laying tank. I think the friction might need to be upgraded on some of these wheels so we can get a bit of better grip but you can see it's not really having too much of an issue as we go over there especially if we get some momentum going I'm just trying to be as delicate as possible since it is a little bit top heavy so there we go let's um, attempt to set up a bridge in a traditional sort of manner so it's a very very easy system this found doesn't just drive straight off the edge so you can see we've got that hologram actually projected out in front of us so what I'm gonna do is just line that up with the gap that I've created uh, we're going to hit the parking brake. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we need to stabilize our platform. So you can see that piston's coming down. We lock that in position, and then we can begin the folding. So first, we need to unfold both parts. So we need to, number one, press six. Press seven. That'll fold out that bit, and that'll fold out this bit as well. So I'm hoping that this is the best way of truly doing it. So you can see there's also buttons on the side. So if I just get out why that's actually extending across there, very cool indeed. I love things like this, that they're not super functional, but they just have a purpose. And if they were a realistic item, they would serve that purpose very well. So you can make this bridge expanse as long as you wanted. You can maybe, I'd probably make it a little bit bigger just for purposes. All right, so now the second thing we need to do is drop this system down. So we can either use the controls on the side. So let's um, actually check for the release button. So if we come down here, this should be a merge block on and off. So if we turn that merge block off, it should drop the bridge down into place. Beautiful. Okay. Oh god, if we cause some damage to something, no, we're fine. The green is the sort of gap is crossable. We should have locked down that landing gear. So this is not going to be super safe. But we're going to give it a go anyway. So let's pop ourselves back into our craft. And the second thing we want to do is just really flip up our little hinge like this. Perfect. So the only issue I've really spotted with this is there's no way of recovering your bridge once you get to the other side. It really needs a merge block on the other side as well so that you can actually pick it up as you're traveling on your way. So we're going to go and disengage our piston and our rotor. So five, four, that's retracted back up. Disengage your parking brake and we should be able to cross. Okay, give it a bit of gas. Oh, it's dangerous this. Okay, we've got enough friction and we haven't nudged the bridge. So the, the track where you can see is very narrow and it's particularly designed for this, but you could extend this, make it a little bit flatter. But look at that. We managed to make it across that gap without an issue. I'll go back into spectator. And we'll try driving it across the rest of the way. So if I gas it too much, you can see it does accelerate. But we actually have crossed there successfully. And in this case, we can't recover the bridge. So you'd have, we'd have to go back around this side. So if I was going to work on this a bit further, I'd add a merge block on this side as well. So we can pick it up. But let's attempt to reverse back over it if we can. Oh no, that bridge bit is right on the end. Okay, we're now across. Uh, we can attempt to reattach the merge block. So let's just rotate that back around see if we can pick this guy up hopefully if everything goes well it should land right on the top of it let's put a parking brake on and also reactivate this merge block so it should do it i think it's the right button uh toggle merge block yep so that merge block's now been reactivated ready to go down that landing gear should have really locked in place i should have locked that that was me being a bit silly hop back into the cockpit and it looks like we're lining up really well for a good connection i'll uh, disengage that and we should come in and connect any second now. There we go. Connected perfectly. Let's retract. That's retracting. We should have activated our landing gear, shouldn't we? Damn it. Uh, how are we going to best do this? What's the best way of dealing with it? Uh, let's uh, put a number, number four up and then lock the landing gear in place. 
Let's have a look. Oh, damn it, we're having some issues. There we go. Perfect. I should have really locked myself down in position, but I wasn't really thinking that. So as we retract back, that should start folding away. So let's actually press number seven so the second part of the bridge folds up as well. And we'll give it a little bit of gas so we don't get ourselves stuck. That, that landing gear is now holding us into place, so that is good. We can lock that. There we go. Very stable platform. Beautiful little creation. We'll attempt to drop it and climb a steep sort of gap, but I don't know if it's going to hold in place. There we go. Track that in, and I will pop up my landing gear like so. Beautiful. Perfect. And then we can drive off and load on the next craft. So let's use our beautiful little turning system. Look at that. I love turning on the spot like that. It's perfect. It's really well designed. You can really appreciate and see the time that's gone into engineering this guy. So if we go, we put our piston down. Let's attempt to do that. Let's build a nice angle to get up here. Because there's no way our craft could get up there otherwise. Uh, so we're going to retract that. Retract this at the same time. And we're going to attempt to drop this bridge a little bit earlier, I think. So nothing goes wrong. Okay, that's looking good. Everything's folding away really nicely. We just need to drop the merge block out. When we're ready. Is that angle still a bit too steep? Maybe we could do with um, backing off. Nah, that should be fine. Let's just drop that as it is about there, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, dropped. We need to retract our little device back up and hope that doesn't slide down. Perfect. Retract our landing gear and that. So we're just hoping that doesn't slide as we drive up it. It could do. This could all go wrong. I don't think this is exactly what it was designed for, but... Yeah, we might not have enough grip to actually get up it. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Come on. Yes. Oh, no, we're not going to make it. Uh, right, we'll slide down that and we'll give it a little bit of a run up. But, you know, giving things... Oh, God! Okay, we, we are we are, we are attempting to do it. Yeah, so basically we made the angle a bit too slit steep. We probably could have made that easier for ourselves if we would have made the angle less steep. Because I pretty much pulled it right up to that. So we've damaged the merge block in the process. <laughs> But yes, this would be very possible. Uh, let me just do a quick test. We'll do a little bit of cheatsy doodling. Uh, we'll come out to the actual craft itself. We'll grab it. And we'll just attempt if we would have placed it, you know, a, a, a more mature sort of angle. Let's see if we can actually even pace this thing. God, it's kind of a weird angle already. Great. Just what I needed. Uh, thanks, thanks, game, for really making my life hard. Yeah, it's coming off at some weird angle. Let's uh, drop that down here. Just be as gentle as possible. Okay. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. <laughs> I think I've just made it like 10 times worse. I should have dropped it really sort of calculated. No. We've, we've made it totally wrong. Anyway. I'd like to thank you guys for working. If you use this as a bridge, it will work. If you try to tr do strange angles with it, then you're doing it at your own risk. But if you lock that landing gear on the bridge, you will have better performance. I promise you that. Check this design out on the workshop, and I will see you next time.